Hey everybody, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the two new devices that I will be adding to my collection. So I received both of these on Friday, and today we're going to be taking a look at them. Now the first one is an iPod Touch first generation. This is a 16 gigabyte model. So there's that. Um, I got these both on eBay, by the way. The interesting thing about this one was that it was actually running iOS 1 when I got it. Um, I didn't notice it first in the eBay listing in the pictures. I didn't see it at first, but then I realized it was actually on iOS 1 and iOS 1.1.5 to be specific. Um, so I was like, oh, that's cool. I'll be able to play around with that for a little bit and then eventually upgrade it to iOS 3 or whatever. But then I remembered that you used to actually have to pay to upgrade the iPod Touch back then. So then I was like, oh crap, what if I have to pay in order to upgrade this? But luckily I figured out how to upgrade it for free, so now it is on um, iPhone OS 3 or iOS 3. Um, I also had it on iOS 2 earlier, 2.2.1, and this is 3.1.3. .3. So if you want me to make a video on how to downgrade to those versions, then you can comment that, um, but I don't know how many of you still use iPod Touch first generations, but yeah. So yeah, this iPod's really cool. Um, it doesn't have a speaker actually, but it still does make some sound effects. So like when you lock and unlock it, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it makes a little sound effect. So I don't know if you can hear that. Um, also, when you're like typing, it makes little sounds. And also the um, um, timer things here. Yeah, so I don't know if you can hear that, but it has a little um, buzzer inside. It doesn't have an actual speaker, so you cannot listen to music on this without headphones. And it doesn't have volume buttons either, nor does it have support for um, remotes on headphones, like with the volume controls. Let's see. Um, like this. Um, you can't use these to change the volume either, so basically you have to um, just change it on the screen with a little slider. Um, I think with the um, 3.0 update, you can use this play and pause button in the middle, so you can still use that, you just can't um, change the volume. So yeah, you have to use the screen, which is kind of inconvenient. But this iPod actually does have the, one of the best sound quality of any Apple device for music, so that is pretty cool. So overall, I love this iPod, it's been really fun. So now let's move on to the next device. Now this one actually came in its original box, and this is an iPhone 3GS. This is also a 16 gigabyte, and it is the old boot ROM model. So yeah, um, you can see it's in its original iOS 3 box, old boot ROM, I think it was made in like late July, early August 2009. Um, so yeah, it came in the original box, really cool there. So inside we have the iPhone 3GS here. It's in pretty good condition overall. You can see it's on iOS 6.1.6. .6. So it did come with all of the original paperwork there, as you can see. And if we open this up, it also comes with the SIM tool, and inside you have the fingertips, quick start guide, and iPhone 3GS thing, and Apple stickers. So yes. Now I did have a 3GS back in July, but that one the battery in it like vented and basically um, it like split the phone apart. If I have a picture of it, I'll put it in. But basically, yeah, the phone is like splitting open. Um, I think the battery like just exploded during shipping. Um, it still worked and everything, except the camera on it didn't work and the vibrator didn't work. And I don't think the compass worked either, like it wouldn't calibrate. So yeah, that that was not a good phone. It was also a new boot ROM 3GS, and I like the old boot ROMs better. Um, 
So yeah, I ended up returning that phone, and I didn't get a new one until just now. Apparently, the same thing happened to this phone. Um, the battery ballooned, as the seller said. Um, but they did actually replace the battery a few years ago, and it's hardly been used since. Um, there are some very minor cracks on the back from the battery ballooning. Um, but you can hardly see it, like, unless you look really close. So, overall, it's in pretty good condition, and I think I will be keeping this one. So, yeah, there is my 3GS. Right there. So, those are the two new Apple devices that I got for my collection. The iPod Touch 1st Generation and the iPhone 3GS. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be doing more videos soon, so thanks for watching, and peace.